Hello and welcome to Heartlight Vedic Astrology. Uh, today I was going to go through um, Introduction to Navigating a Birth Chart in Vedic Astrology or Jyotish. Um, so this is one of my concept or teaching videos. So if you're new to Astrology, Jyotish, um, then this talk is probably for you. Let's get into it. So we're going to go through a basic birth chart here. And I'm just going to give you a general orientation so that you understand how to navigate a chart in a very basic way. Okay, so this is essentially an empty chart. I just filled in a few things for, again, learning teaching purposes. Um, this is a North Indian style chart. It is square. Um, I do actually have a video on different styles of Indian or Jyotish charts, like North, East, uh, what is it, north, south, east, uh, um, Indian charts, as well as a comparison to western charts. So if you're interested in that, there's a whole video on that that I've created. But as you can see, you have these little cross hatchings here. And what that means is that you end up with these squares and triangles. And these different squares and triangles are 12 different houses, or bhavas as they're called in Sanskrit. So each square, each triangle is a house or a bhava. Okay, 12 of them. Now the first house, so this is where we start, you know, counting and orienting ourselves. The first house or bhava is always the top middle square. And I put in here um, in the top middle square, ascendant, rising sign, first house, lagna. These are basically all synonyms for the same thing, different words for the same thing. All right. So if I say the lagna, you know, I'm talking about the first house. If I say ascendant, I'm still talking about the first house. If I say rising sign, I'm still talking about the first house. Okay, so now where do you go from the lugna? Where do you go from the rising sign, the first house? Well, if you're going to be counting houses, you count backwards, so counterclockwise, and you're going to count inclusively. All right, so the other thing to know here is that in the North. Um, Indian style chart, you might see like in this lugna, in this chart, you have a little eight in the corner. This eight represents the eighth constellation of the zodiac, which happens to be Scorpio. Okay. I also made another video. If you're not familiar with constellations, you're going to need to know the order of the constellations and their names to start looking at birth charts if that's what you're interested in doing getting getting into astrology i have created a video on introductions to constellations so you know the order the number the names and the symbols okay so in this chart the lugna the rising sun the ascendant the first house is scorpio the eighth constellation of the zodiac okay now if we're gonna count to the next house the na next house is actually up and back so the second house, and I actually labeled here, is the triangle up and to the left of the lugna. Okay, and if we're following the zodiac, you just label eight from here, eight, nine, you go back in order. This is going to be the ninth constellation of the zodiac. So this is going to be Sagittarius is the second house. Okay, and then you continue on like this. So you go first house, second house, and you keep going counterclockwise, third house, fourth house, fifth house, okay? And then also the constellations follow. So here again, the first house is Scorpio. Then the second house is the ninth constellation, Sagittarius. Then the third house, I didn't label it here, but the third house you can fill in is going to be the tenth constellation or Capricorn. Okay? So let's just kind of look at this. So the first house here, as I mentioned, is Scorpio because there's a little eight here and uh, the eighth constellation of the zodiac is Scorpio. The second house here, um, uh, as I've labeled it, um, is the ninth constellation of the zodiac, which is Sagittarius. Okay, so if we're counting, and again, we count clock, counterclockwise and inclusively, so I have this little symbol, KE, this represents K2, the south node of the moon. And we're, based on what I've told you so far, which house is K2 in? Well, you start at the Lugna, and Lugna is number one, you're counting now. You go back two, you go back again three, you go back again four, 
K2 is in the fourth house in this particular chart. Got it? Okay. And then what constellation is K2 going to be in? Well, you count back from 8, so 8, 9, 10, 11, it's going to be in Aquarius. Okay. Now let's try Jupiter. Okay, so again, we go back to the Lugna, and now we're looking for Jupiter. Jupiter is indicated by JU. That's, this, that's how I mark Jupiter. So we start in the Lugna, 1. Lugna is 1. We count backwards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 houses away is where Jupiter is. So Jupiter is 9 houses away from the Lugna or the first house. Got it. And which constellation is Jupiter going to be in? Jupiter is going to be in Cancer. Okay. Got it? Okay, so that's that's the lesson. So let's try it out on a couple charts. Okay Here we go. So example chart number one again mostly empty, but Okay, you know how to orient yourself. You know where the lugna is the first house the center rising sign Okay, so this is your quiz <laughs> See if you if you got what I said in the first one here. So from this chart. What is the lugna Rashi? or AKA the rising sign ascendant. Okay, what is it? And I put the answers to these questions on the last slide. All right, so you have time to work this out. I'm not gonna tell you right now. All right, so the next question is, which house is Venus, symbolized by VE in? And what is the constellation or Rashi that Venus is in? The next question is, how many houses or bhavas is Saturn symbolized by SA from Venus and then which constellation or Rashi is Saturn in all right so you got five questions to answer from this chart to double check that you got the concepts I taught on the first and now we have a second chart here you can practice with all right so example chart number two again a fresh chart so what is the Lagna Rashi, Rashi or otherwise known as the rising sign or ascendant in this chart which house is Sun in, symbolized by SU? Which constellation or Rashi is Sun in? And how many houses or Bhavas away is Mercury, symbolized by ME, from the Sun? And then how many houses or Bhavas away from the Lugna is Mercury? All right, so you got this one to practice with. And then don't go to the next slide until you're ready for the answers. <laughs> if, you t if you don't want the big reveal yet, you know, just pause your video at this point. All right. But here you go. Here are your answers to double check your work and make sure you actually got the concepts that I taught. All right. So there's your introduction, basic introduction to how to orient yourself with a chart and know how to count houses and that sort of thing. So when people start throwing around, you know, fifth house, ninth house, eleventh house, you know where they are. When people start throwing around constellations based on numbers, you know where they are. And when somebody says, oh, look, Mars is four houses away from Sun, you know how to get there. All right, so there you go. Um, hopefully that was um, easy peasy. And um, until the next teaching video. All right, you take care. Namaste.